Hello, this is Haku Devin, and today we are going on our slash liminal space. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's go ahead and revisit some of your memories. Let's for redemption! Oh, never mind, it's closed down. I don't know what redemption is, but looks like it would have been a lot of fun. Corridor. A fancy corridor. Honestly, it feels like something you would see in a, like, um, murder mystery novel. Ruthless Playground. I love how this part is just gone. A victim of the slow internet. Oh, no, it's back. Wow. My university. Oh, wow. Neat. Around the corner. Anywhere but here. It's a plane. <sighs> Once again, we get little improv to censor by we guys a freaking bad internet. <laughs> there we go. I remember riding planes as a kid. 12.31 a.m. Look at that pool. Don't pools feel so weird at night? My school feels a bit off. Yeah, it's weird that the top floor is all like blue, and then the bottom floor is like... Well, the, the sort of, or the color or skin you would expect from the lighting given. It's weird, but it's kind of interesting. It's feel unique. Does it ever end? Looks like some sort of... Uh... Oh, it's a dark path in winter, late at night. Okay, so... I live in the in an area where during the winter, if you go to school all morning, it's dark until around you get to school. All afternoon, it's dark right after you get it back from school. So it's really just dark all, all the time during the winter. The only lights you get are artificial lights because school gets in the way of any actual li natural light. I mean, recently after graduating from uh, um, school, I actually noticed that the world is a lot brighter than the uh, winter or, and, and, and people give it credit for. It's just that school makes it seem way darker than it really is. Anyway. Oh, I just like skipped over that. Anyway, the view from my front door. The void is closing in. The void is closing in. The void is. Cl I'm kidding. Anyway, um, wow, that is some nice fog. But also, wow, you live on a farm, don't you? I should know. I live on one too. Very unfortunate. It's why I can't stream. So my day view kind of failed. My pictures must first be beautiful, but that beauty is not enough. I stray I have to convey an underlying edge of anxiety, of isolation, of fear. There's a quote from Gregory Crudson. Here's a black and white photo of a well something. Up the stairs at Chicago uh, Union Station. Hmm, interesting. 
I'm sure there was a shopping center here. <sighs> Malls are really becoming the new liminal spaces, aren't they? It's really hurting. Like, sure, I like the advancement of the internet and technology to be more convenient. But I also don't like that we never get to have an in-person experience with anything anymore. I mean, I think that maybe we you might not be able to avoid in-person experiences with like clothes shopping because, well, when you get something from the internet, it usually does not fit right. Anyway, family meeting. Just two chairs and a couch. Why does that feel so familiar? A dark forest during winter. It's snowing. The trees have no leaves. I just want to leave. Wow, the glare from those lights. They make like a whole entire line. Is that... Is that doctored or what? Did you Photoshop that in or no? Foggy mornings really do make it feel like the void is closing in. The void is closing in. I really need to stop doing that. Train tracks. Train tracks do feel a little bit liminal, don't they? This nondescript hallway. Makes me kind of sad that there's nothing yet around the hallway. What happened to, like, everything wanting, like, a huge mess of posters to fake like they're trying to keep your well-being in mind? Are you just done faking stuff now? Yeah, the evil old, old dictator wannabe politician said at the quiet part out loud out so we can stop pretending to who care. Is that what corporations are saying now? Like this. And what are you looking at when you're sitting in those chairs? A big yellow ball? Not really worth it if you ask me. I just stay in my room at that point. When else out here? No. Was in this hallway yesterday and thought of this sub. Uh, yeah, why does this hallway make me a, a, a uneasy? Not only does it have those gosh darn darn lights. Actually, here's the thing. Homes usually have like yellow lights. They're really relaxing and they're really cozy and warm. But then you go to like a hospital, a school, or any corporation, and they have these bright white lights that feel harsh. I call them corporate white. And I do not like them at all. I like the cozy yellow and the comforting blue. Anyway, my work gives me liminal vibes every day. Yeah, I can see why. Why is the floor wet? Or is that just like a stain that never went away? Oh, wow, that is... Yeah... Sorry, but I couldn't freaking work there. Well, I can't I really work anywhere. Hmm. 
<sighs> Train station stairs. All right. I'm on uh, like the color that they're doing with the lights as, as a default because I do not like the corporate white lights or whatever. But what the hell are they doing? They're like way up here, way down here. Like what are these lights? The lights are high. One of my favorites. Oh. This is a stone hallway. I think this is like probably one of those places that just give that probably originate the original word liminal. You're not kidding anymore. I did not need this to in my face. The imagery of the freaking like mall playgrounds except they're all gone and replaced by benches hey homeless people go into malls and, and sleep on their benches what are they gonna do kick you out anyway the freaking removal of those playgrounds they used to have in the malls for the kids it's just telling me that businesses do not like kids anymore there's nothing for kids. You don't he you don't ever get any ads for like Hot Wheels or Super Soakers anymore. All your freaking YouTube ads are always like, "Hey, you want Ozempic? This weird freaking medicine that nobody cares about." No, what's well, about getting in, in thirteen ads about it? I still don't know what the heck it is. All I know is that I don't care about it. I want to know the latest technology in Super Soak Oaking. Okay. Anyway, photographs I took it during a trip to Paris earlier this year. Oh, Paris. It's nice to see level spaces that aren't based on the American experience and nostalgia. You don't see that very often. My old workplace. Very neat, very uh, hallway. An empty airport, my goodness. I don't like it. School hasn't started yet. Alright, schools at dark early morning hours, I don't find a two on a I don't find too liminal for me or just simply uneasy like it's wrong because it's like that's when you got to school because they want you to go there early so you wouldn't get a freaking tardy and get detention after three days which was ridiculous But I did hate getting to school, not even early, but like on time, waiting for hours for somebody to open the doors for us because they just want to make us waste our time. Like, it's winter, just open a bloody door. It's cold out, out here, you know? Portland Airport. I'm glad I didn't specify which one because there's at least three. Little no arcade and mini golf space. Ooh, this is uh, just nostalgia. I love it. Empty, depressing nostalgia. My school hallway after everyone leaves. Hmm. Seems like a lot of these are school related these days, or at least today. But yeah, that is really creepy. Oh gosh! The alarm started going off. Yeah, that would uh, freak me out. 
Well, I think that's enough. That was r slash liminal space. If you liked this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye! Oh yeah, just as a quick reminder, the void is closing in. The void is closing in. The void is closing in. Alright, bye!